Saturday morning. I am about to head to SoulCycle. My all-time favorite instructor, Parker, is the instructor. He is so great. I'm actually typically not a big SoulCycle fan because like I don't like all the like motivational speaking and all that. But Parker is very cool. He like kind of works in fashion. He's a DJ. So he does live DJ sets. And it's just like the perfect Saturday morning workout. It's so fun. You just like let it all out. So I'm gonna head to that. And then going to brunch at Layla with a couple of friends. I actually haven't been to Layla yet. I think it's in Williamsburg. Oh my God, 45 minutes to get to Brooklyn. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, it's 67 degrees. Fuck yeah. And I'm so excited. Ah. Fuck you on the girl like me. Fuck you with me dangerously. Bet you want a piece of me. Mm. Right now I'm living free. Music's in the checks for me. Even haters check on me. Think you want this good, good, baby, I'm the one for ya Are you feeling good, good, show you what's in line for ya Giving you that good, good, I'll check what's in line for ya Okay, I left Seoul, I got to shower and wash my hair, so I'm feeling rejuvenated Class was amazing, he played Fortnite, the new Taylor Swift song that I've been listening to for the past two days So I lost my mind, now I'm just heading to brunch to meet a few friends and that's kind of my only plan for the day it's such a beautiful day in Williamsburg I'm like really happy to be back you guys should I just move back I'm so annoying like I will never make up my mind on this he pick me up he's so and do a little catch up. And I'm kind of like in the middle of, I don't want to call it a crisis because it's not a crisis. Two slices of sourdough bread. Where's my avocado? It's not a crisis, but it's like, I'm kind of always confused as to where to live. I just, you know, I made the decision. Okay, I'm going to move to LA. I'm going to make LA my home base. And now I'm like, God, I just feel so good when I'm in New York. Like I just feel so much more inspired. And I think like maybe I'm just like supposed to live this life where I live in both places. It's really stressful. Like unless you are in a place where you can just afford having two homes and like you can just like kind of fuck off. Unless you can do that, being by a coastal is so exhausting and I'm kind of like tired of it. Let me put this down a little bit. And I'm, ooh, and I'm kind of like, and I'm kind of tired of the back and forth and like having to rent and then sublet and all that. So I'm kind of conflicted. Hold on. Also like, um, sorry, I just wanted to show you that avocado. Maybe I can put this somewhere where you, we can, but yeah, I'm kind of conflicted because I just, I feel so much more like myself here and I feel so much more inspired, but I don't want to live here full time. And I love California. So I'm like, God, am I just gonna like keep being by coastal till the day I die? <laughs> like, is this just what's in the cards for me? And you know what? I'm totally fine with being by coastal. The only thing that makes it really difficult is number one is like the financial side. Like I said, like, unless you can afford to have just two homes, which I personally can't right now, unless you can afford to do that, it's, it's really tricky because you're always renting out one of your places with all your stuff in it. And it can get like, a big pain in the ass and it's also sketchy like all my stuff's in there and like I just have random people rummaging through my stuff 
So that's the hard part. And also dating is really hard. Like, I think one of the big reasons why I'm still single at the age of 31 is because I'm never like in the same place for too long. And it gets really hard to like build momentum and like create real relationships because I'm always leaving. So unless I find, shush, unless I find someone else who's bi-coastal, I mean, that would be the dream, right? Because then I can have an apartment in New York and they can have an apartment in LA and we can just share Z's. So let's manifest that for me, shall we? But yeah, so I'm back in New York for like two months. It's just springtime. I uh, wanted to see my friends. I wanted to be back in New York. I wanted to feel like re-inspired. I was getting a little bit bored in LA. Like I love nature and all that, but the city itself like kind of bores me. So I was like, let's shake it up. So we're back. Sorry, not to come in hot with my existential crisis. I am like low key in crisis mode though. I'm just in like transformation mode where I feel like it's time to level up. Like, you know, when you've kind of been doing the same thing for a long time and you're like, okay, like I'm getting a little too comfortable. It's time to shake it up. Yeah, that's kind of how, I, how I've been feeling. Like I, I need to shake it up career wise. I need to do something new, start a new venture, but I'm not totally sure what that is yet. So let's go sit down. Let's take a seat. So I've been trying to explore what that next step is in my career because I've been an influencer for seven or eight years now. And then I started Amber Club, which was a dating company in New York, ran that for two years. It was kind of a pain in the ass if I'm being honest like so fun but running in-person events is really difficult and like it didn't really like make that much money so it just wasn't for me like not really worth the time and the effort and the struggle so i left that my co-founder still runs it though i'm actually gonna go to one of their events tonight which will be fun i haven't like been to an amber event since i left like five months ago so i'm gonna go check it out and now i'm like Okay, what's next? I've been kind of like going down some spiritual woo-woo paths, trying to figure that out. I started this program called To Be Magnetic. I'll link it in the video. And it's like a one year manifestation program. So I've done three workshops so far. The first is how to manifest. And it's like tapping back into who you were as a child to unlock your authentic code. Meaning like, who are you? before the outside world like influenced you and like your family influenced you and social social constructs who are you at your core before the rest of the world like had their opinions so it's tapping into that and then like using all these different methods to try to like let that authentic you flourish all the workshops have like a bunch of meditations that puts you into like this hypnotic state that tries to help you access your subconscious I would really recommend to be magnetic if you want to just take your life a step further. Like if there's something in your life that just like isn't going to where you want, whether it's relationships, career, like your social life, family dynamics, like it just kind of like helps pinpoint the thing that you do to get in your own way because that's all it is. Like we only don't get what we want because we get in our own way because we have self-limiting beliefs. So to be magnetic has been helpful in trying to shift those self-limiting beliefs. Another thing that I've been doing to try to like get some inspiration on what I want to do next is astrology slash human design stuff. So I had a session with an astrologer on my birthday, which was a couple of days ago. And she looked at like a bunch of my stuff, like my astrological chart, my solar return chart and my human design. Actually like just Google your human design chart. I'll put the link too. You just have to know your birthday and what time you were born and where. So like I'm a projector apparently, right? Which means that like, I'm supposed to kind of like sit back and get this bird's eye view of everything that's going on. And then people are supposed to come to me for like my consult or my guidance or whatever. So it's interesting because like there's all these different personality types. And like for me personally, like I'm not meant to be working a nine to five. I'm not meant to be working long hours. Like it literally said that I should, I'm supposed to work two to three hours a day. And I was like, say less. So yeah, I'm kind of on this like spiritual quest to try to like, start the next stage of my life. And if any of you have ever been in a transition where like 
you know the old pattern isn't working anymore, but you don't know what the new pattern is, it can feel like a really destabilizing place because you're just like, I don't really know where I'm going or what's happening. And you're like in a portal and you're going through it, but you feel like nothing's happening. And I'm just like, ah. I'll put the link to the astrologer too. She was great. A friend recommended her to me and she was like really, really insightful. Um, so I'll put her link as well. So anyways, I think that's enough of my ranting. Um, so I just got a bunch of stuff from Okinafort. Should we change gears and do a little haul? Okay, haul time. So I got these new goodies from Okinafort for spring. So let me show you guys what I got. First is this cute little knit tube top that comes with a nice little slit. I'm really into this for like nighttime going out with some hot pants. Also got this tube top. This one's a little bit longer. Still has the side slit though. Um, I'm gonna link everything below if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, very cute, love the color. And then on the same color, I also got these like pleated trousers. I don't know if you can see, they're like very comfy, cozy, like casual, but still really cute. And then I got the same pants in black. Also got this knit cardigan. I'm in my cardigan era. I'm obsessed with cardigans. I just think it's like such an easy, casual, fun way to like kind of look put together. Um, really great knit. Yeah, super cute, love this. And then I got these trousers, which are very luxurious feeling. Hold on, let me show you. For pleated, baggy, oversized, a great spring summer pant. Last but not least is this long sleeve cutout top. I love like an elevated basic. This can go super cute day to night. Love how all the shirts have slits too. Just like kind of gives that hourglass silhouette. Um, yeah, I love this top. Very cute. I have an event tonight with Triarchy Denim at Bergdorf's. So it's a denim company. They sent me some stuff to wear for the event. They sent me a pair of their denim. Um, they sent me two sizes, a 26 and a 27. I like to have options on jean sizes. I like to have like a lower hip. So sometimes I have to size up. So they sent me those. And then also this vest. So I think I'm gonna go like vest open with a little bra, baggy jeans, heels, and then like do it up on the black eye makeup and head to Bergdorf. So I'm gonna clean up and then I have to get ready like pretty soon. Yeah, I have to leave in like an hour. So I'll take you guys with me to that and see ya in like an hour. Okay, I'm ready to go to the event. I did some um, blue eyeshadow. Can you see? Um, did some blue eye makeup. I'm wearing, and yeah, I'll show you here. I'm wearing the vest open with these baggy pants. I ended up going with the size 27 because they just fit a little bit better. So yeah, I'm kind of into it. I'll do a little kitten heel and then maybe hopefully we can get a photo there. I am struggling. I literally look like shit. Like I wouldn't even leave the house looking like this. But on YouTube, I feel like we're just tight like that. Like it's just a safe space. And you guys get to see me at my ugliest. You're like, yay, we didn't ask for that, but whatever. Um, I am a little hungover. Kinda can't hang like I used to. Um, Last night, went to the Triarchy event at Bergdorf's, which was actually cool. So the denim that they were launching is the world's first ever plastic-free denim. So when it biodegrades, it turns into fertilizer instead of like other denim that has plastic in it that sheds microplastics. So that's cool. So shop Triarchy denim if you want to not destroy the environment with your denim purchases. Um, so I went to that and then we went to um, the Amber Club event, which was so crazy. It was at this place called Game of a Thousand Boxes, which 
is as weird as it sounds. It's like this weird arcade, like team player game. I don't know, it was chaotic, absolute chaos. Maybe I'll put a video or something here. Like, I don't even know how to describe <laughs> what that was. And then we went to Jack's, Jack's on Bond and had some cocktails and I just, I think I had too many drinks over the span of the night and too many different types of drinks. So I like stumbled home at 2 a.m. and just ate like lots of toast, like lots of variations of types of toast. And I tried to watch Vanderpump Rules and then I just passed out. And I woke up this morning like feeling like shit. So here we are. And then I took a call with this company that invests in influencer brands. So basically they work with influencers and if an influencer wants to launch a brand, they help fund it. Um, and they take like 20% and it's kind of interesting. I like don't really know what kind of brand I want to make. I have some ideas actually, but I'm not like fully like super excited about them, but that's interesting. Like yesterday I was telling you guys about like my kind of career lol. And then I randomly got that email and I was like, huh? So took a call with them. We'll see how it goes. Um, and it's, already three o'clock um i worked all morning so i think i'm kind of like done for the day what i really want to do is go on a long walk like i want to go walk like four miles and i'm staying at laura's place in tribeca and i want to walk to the west village how far is the west village let me see okay that's only a mile and a half great 30 minutes there 30 minutes back it'll like a one hour walk that sounds like a great plan for me Cute, I'll walk to 14th Street. Oh my God, I love this for me. So this is why I love New York. Like I know that I'm gonna go on this walk and I'm gonna stumble upon a cute bookstore or like a cute art gallery and like maybe I'll end up reading a book in a, in a cafe or like maybe I'll run into someone. Um, you just can't do this in LA. Like you can't do nothing but something at the same time. You know what I mean? I'm like a shell of a person today. Okay, so just finished up my little walk. Um, it's starting to get pretty cold. I got a chai tea latte with almond milk. And I also ended up getting a bite at Sweet Green, but it was like kind of gross and not very pretty. So I didn't even bother filming it. Um, I'm just heading home to grab a swimsuit because I'm gonna head to, look at all that beautiful New York City trash. I'm gonna head to, um, gonna head to Bath House which the first one is in Williamsburg in Brooklyn, but they just opened one in Flatiron too. So gonna head to the Flatiron location, do a little sauna, steam, cold plunge. And that sounds like the ideal night for me, honestly, because I'm definitely struggling today. So we're gonna go do that. <laughs> 